Hello, how you doing everybody? It is me, Lady Hell, and I am so excited that you are tuned in this morning. So this has been a request that we have been getting for a while, and since we have been getting this request, what we're what I'm gonna do today is um this is for Mac users. So if you do use Mac and you use this broadcasting software, um it's called Audio Hijack, which can be found online. I think it's like fifty nine bucks. Because many people always ask, well, how can I take um calls online so there's two ways there's a free solution and then there's also a pay for um pay for solution i recommend each of you as um as radio owners radio hosts whatever to make sure that you go and buy zoom zoom is 14 dollars a month is a wonderful expense to have um because it's going to allow you to take multiple call file calls a lot of people to call in you'll be able to monitor that mute the calls etc so i'm going to show you how to take a call or how to have somebody call you in whether um using zoom and then i will also go over the free solution so let's go to my screen okay and i'm going to show you how to set that up so first off when you go you're going to go ahead and open audio hijack so let's uh let's open audio hijack all right if you have not downloaded you can always um some of you it might look like this but if you have previous sessions available and we have set that you have set that up you can set that up so first let's go ahead and let's let's set the session up so you're going to say new session once you do new session i'm you're going to do any internet radio you're going to press choose okay so obviously this has one that's already set up so this has like the application um this is for the for the music this has the internal microphone this is where you're doing it has like the peaking so it lets you know if you're peaking it has the box for the broadcast etc in your output device all right so i'm going to show you how i personally uh will set this up so you have your music if you're going to be doing music and you're going to select your application the application i will be using will be spotify so i'm going to select Sp um, spotify then I'm going to go over here where it says application selection. I'm going to bring another application in. Okay. This application right here, where you click on it, you set the app that you're going to be using. So obviously it's not here. So I'm going to select the application and I'm going to go to my applications and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to select a zoom. Okay. All right. So now I have my zoom application there. From there, I need to be able to turn up or turn down volumes on these devices, okay? So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to where it says built-in effect, all right? I'm going to go to where it says volume. I'm going to add that to all my stuff. So, I'm going to add it to here so I'll be able to turn it up, turn it down, okay? I'm going to add a volume again to the application where I'll be able to turn that up. Or turn it you know turn it up or down accordingly right all right so that's going in there all right then on my input device where I can turn my volume up or down or off so if I want it off what well, is overdrive but if I need to turn it up I need to turn it down etc it's right there if I want to see if my volume is you know peaking or something like that I can add my meters and you can either do the UV meters or you can do the peak meters. I prefer uh, peaking. So I'll know. That's just me personally. I don't like I don't like this. So I'm just gonna delete that from here. All right. And I like to I like to see my stuff. That's just me personally. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. There we go. Let's bring this over here so we can see that together. All right. So I just had to make sure everything was connected. All right. And I like to see my personally, I like to see my peak meters. All right. So I have my volume where I'm able to turn up, turn down, etc. And then I'm going to go over here and where it says like, so every time my broadcast is on, is going to record. I'm going to go to my recorder. Okay, just gonna go here. And then, okay, so now we have all the applications that we're gonna 
be using selected okay so long as we have everything select selected which is fine I just need to see it because I can't see everything all right so we have our music we have um, ours so if, if yours is your your mixer or whatever your microphone your USB microphone you can put that there and there is the application here okay so now let's go ahead and set up the broadcast uh, many of you should have set up your broadcast when you first set up your station if you didn't this is obviously a refresher let me make sure I'm recording okay we're five minutes into this so we're almost done um, so where it says set up here okay you're gonna uh, select your uh, server type all of you should select v1 I mean shoutcast 1 it's going to ask for your server address your port ID and your password okay so we're going to go in let me find a station that I'm I'm currently fooling with right now because I'm uh, I'm going to do the station that I'm about to I'm selling actually so hold on all right so this is um this is actually off i need to turn it on right so we're gonna say unsuspend all right i need that station playing i don't need it off all right okay so i'm gonna click in here obviously this is my my view i'm gonna go ahead and start the server real quick i had it stop it's supposed to have been started oops ain't that a mess so i believe i've already kind of changed password so yeah all right so anyway let me come out of here i'm gonna change this radio station to dream radio I don't know. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just, I'm gonna just name it whatever. But because uh, I don't even know what I'm gonna name this station. But if you go into your settings and stream settings, you can name your radio station whatever you know you want to name it. So mine's maybe uh, Royal Royal Radio. I'm just gonna call it Royal Radio, whatever. Right, let me just do this real quick. Um, all right, cool. So, whatever, um, I just changed the stream name to Royal Radio. All right, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna go to DJs because you need to set up you up a DJ account. I'm going to disable this um, DJ account here, okay? So, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna create a DJ. And I'm going to come up, um, Royal Radio, and then I'm going to put a password in. Okay. I'm going to give it access to do what it needs to do. I'm going to press save. Okay. Once I have pressed save, I need to restart my server so all my settings will change place. Okay. So in order to do live, you need a DJ account to be set up. All right? And if you, we literally, okay, I don't know. So now, let's, I just need to make sure all the settings are correct. No, it's not. All right, because I just got the little, the little thing so let me fix this if you get a little message like that um because this was set up a, a good minute ago okay i'm just gonna say that update Let's do quick links and do those settings. Yeah, quick links. And I'm just going to verify that this thing is working because sometimes it 
that's pretty tight. Okay, cool. So that's up and running. So we did our DJ. So if you go to Quick Links here, it's going to give you your protocol information. It's going to tell you exactly what you need to do. It says when the auto DJ is running and you want to um, broadcast, that's the one you need to use. Okay? Because all of y'all run y'all station 24-7. So obviously, it don't matter if you're running or not. Okay? So first of all, we're going to use the server name, which is the here. Okay? This is on the network server on one of them anyway and then you're going to use your port number which is 8006 i'm going to copy i'm going to paste okay then you're going to use the password which is your dj name and whatever a colon in your thing so it's royal radio then colon and then whatever password i said Then the colon, then my password. Okay, where it says for format, it needs to be on um, medium quality. All right, then the block title, we're gonna name it Royal Radio. Okay, so now you're ready to go. Then you can, um, you know, you can select your your uh, title from whatever source, which ours will come from Spotify. So if it's iTunes and iTunes, if Spotify is Spotify. So whatever you're using for your source, for your music, that's what it is. All right. Now that we have that, we need to go to the recording. Okay. So it's going to ask me, where do I want to save this file to? I'm going to save it on my desktop. I'm going to create a folder on my desktop that says live shows. So it'll always be there. Okay. So once I have that, that's why you know that's why I want it to save to is live, and then I just do regular quality, which is 128 Mbps, bit rate, constant, sample rate, 441, okay, and I want it in stereo. And then if I wanted to add like some artwork or something, 1080 by 1080 would be what we're gonna use. All right. So in the next video, now that we have set it up. Um, when we get back there, I'm going to show you how to, um, how to broadcast from there. So that's video one.